Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in the last video you guys got from me, it was a huge clothing haul. This is kind of a part two to that huge clothing haul. Um, it has the hair accessories, hats, beauty products, handbags, shoes, clothing accessories, anything you can think of accessory wise that doesn't have to do with clothing is in this haul. So to start off I'm going to get into the hair accessories. First thing I got was this beret, it's wool and it is beige, I got it from Urban Outfitters. The second thing I got was this straw bucket hat from Free People, I've never seen anything like it but I cannot wait to wear this one. I also did get, it's a little big, um, pretty sure, move out of the frame a little bit. Um, I also did get this little floppy hat from Target. Um, super cute, I wore this the whole time on vacation because I just actually came back from Cancun. Um, but it really did protect my face from the sun. It was really, really, really cute. Uh, Another hat that I got from Urban Outfitters was the iconic Brixton Fisherman hat. So I did mention that I did come back from vacation and I did go to Cancun, Mexico. I had to get this dad hat. Um, love the color maroon. Love oh, good souvenirs. Uh, now I did get some beanies. I am the type of person that wears beanies all year round so um, I got them from Vans. Um, I got this little mustard color. Love this one. Super soft. Also did get this neon yellow or green, not sure um, what color it is, but it is in between like the neon yellow to neon green color. Um, love this, also super soft. I did get this little Carhartt beanie from Zoomies, love Carhartt, um, and I just got it in navy. As for hair scarves, I did get this one from Free People. Free People literally has the best hair scarves. Um, I love this one in particular just because it does have the lemon print, polka dot print, um, all in one, and I love the shape that it comes in. A lot of head scarves come in like this weird square shape that doesn't even let you wrap it around your head all the way, but this one's just so versatile because of how long it is. You could literally wear it as a head bow with the bow in the front or as a headband like this um, just tying it around your ponytail, your hair bun, as a neck scarf anything you can think of you can do with this scarf. I also got one from Urban Outfitters this is one of the scrunchy kinds um, it is animal print, love animal print and my favorite thing about this one is that you can actually untie this and wear it as a hair scarf or a scrunchie so I'm really 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 excited to play with these two. I did also get one from Paxen. This is like a taupe color so you can also untie them just like the one that I got from Urban Outfitters. Super versatile products. I also got a few scrunchies from Cancun when I saw these I literally died on the inside. They're so cute. I love the colors. This one has more of an orange background to it. This one's just white and the white brings out a lot of the other colors in it. And then this one's just more blue, teal, purples. Um, love these. I don't know how to pronounce this, but I'll just show you the tag. So they were $3.50, um, 63 pesos. I also got some hair clippies from Urban Outfitters. This was just eight bucks. Um, I love these. I was obsessed with these. I love the patterns just because they're so me. Like if you um, look closely, there's just black, gold, then we have the tortoise shell, and we have the black and white pattern, and then a little leopard print here. Love these clippies. Cannot wait to wear them. As for a little clothing accessory, I just got this really cute Brandy Melville belt from Paxson. It's clear. Literally will go with anything because it's clear. So on to the handbag portion of this accessory haul. The first handbag that I got was from Urban Outfitters. I originally got this to use on the beach in Mexico but I ended up not taking it because my mom thought it was too cute to just use as a beach bag. Um, but I love this. It's super roomy. I'd honestly say go for it and use it as a beach bag or use it as a handbag. 
if you're someone who carries a lot but you still want to look cute and you don't want the normal tote shape and you want it to be a little bit more summery, I definitely buy this bag from Urban Outfitters. I also got this little bag here, one of my favorites. I wore the heck out of this in Mexico, I have a ton of pictures with it. It's a little straw basket bag. You open it and it has this little cute picnic pattern inside of it. The only thing that is a little weird, I don't know if it's going to come like this if anyone else purchases it, but it does oddly smell like beef jerky. Don't know why. Um, but it's still super cute. It doesn't fit much, but it just fits enough if you're someone who doesn't carry a ton. Fits my phone, lip gloss, sunglasses, maybe a camera. Um, it'll definitely fit my camera, but my camera's really small, so, um, super cute bag. I have nothing but good things to say about this one. This bag I got from Free People. I'm absolutely obsessed with this one. So, you, it's kind of like a cross body, like, fanny pack. So, you, like, wear it like this. It's supposed to sit down on your side. So, this bag honestly doesn't fit much. It'll fit just a phone and a lip gloss, honestly, um, and a few cards. And it does have a little clasp here to open it, and it flaps open. Um, and then to close it, you just put that little guy in there, and then just squeeze that guy and slide it right in. And you can adjust the length of this bag to however you like it. Since I do have a lot of the little handbags that don't fit much, I did think that these little wallets that I got from Urban Outfitters were perfect to purchase just because um, they're easy to toss in any little handbag. I'm someone who is lazy about like taking all of my cards and putting them into each handbag and having these makes that so easy for me. So it's a little envelope wallet like this. It has this little pocket in the back and then this little slip here to just slide my cards in, my ID, anything just super essential and important to carry in a small bag like those. And I also got it in black as well so if I have a brown purse I can put this in the brown purse, if I have a black purse I can put it in the black purse. So, I know I'm going to use the heck out of these just because of how many small bags I have. Now on to the jewelry portion of this accessory haul. Um, this was mostly jewelry that I got from vacation. Um, I got this little Pandora charm. So I do have a Pandora bracelet that has a charm from everywhere I have visited. Um, so when I saw Pandora in Mexico, I died and I had to just get a charm. So I got the little starfish and seashell charm super obsessed with it because every time I go to Mexico I, I'm literally just living inside a beach so I thought this was perfect if that helps and I also got these little bracelets for me and my sister they're just the little string bracelets they were super super inexpensive they were one dollar each and I thought it would be a little cute souvenir I have this colorway and then these ones are for my other two sisters. And then I also, um, from Mexico, got this little shell necklace. Love this. I just think it's so, like, beachy and, I don't know, I just, I like stuff like this. And then I did get these um, hoop earrings from Paxan. They're the tortoise shell, um, Ellie Hearts brand. So now on to the hair and beauty products. I did go to Morphe and buy the James Charles palette. Um, I fell in love with this palette just because I've always been searching for a palette that has all the colors that I need, neutrals, crazy colors, any anything that can push me out of my comfort zone but will also still have those neutral tones that I feel so safe using. Um, and I thought the James Charles palette was perfect for that. So this is what it looks like, and this is what it looks like when you open it. It has all the shade names on the inside. The only thing that I've heard is that um, it 
does tend to stain your eyes a little bit when you use um, some of the really vibrant eyeshadows, but that's to be expected, um, and I'm not worried about that, so really excited to wear all these different colors on my eyes. Dose of Colors has some of my all-time favorite lip glosses, so when I saw that they went on sale for $12 each, um, I had to get my hands on them. The maximum amount of quantity you could purchase for each lip gloss was two, so I literally bought two. Ooh, came with a little card. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Little Desi and Katie stickers. I did get it from their collection, the Desi and Katie collection. They came out with the best lip glosses ever, so um, I just keep on rebuying them. And then a little Desi and Katie Dose of Colors card, so this is like their neutral, this is like their bold. Um, and then it says, thank you for shopping at doseofcolors.com. We appreciate your business and hope you enjoy your new items. And then the Dose of Colors. So excited. So I got the Over the Top, bought two. I literally have another one that I still haven't even used up yet, but I wear it all the time that it's almost gone. This is what Over the Top looks like. It does have a gold sparkle to it, um, and it literally does look over the top, but it just gives the perfect amount of juicy, glossy shine to your lips, and I love it. And then the most, and it's kind of the same concept as Over the Top, but it has a little like reddish purplish sparkle to it. So it literally is a little over the top, but it's still subtle. This is what the most looks like. It is super, super metallic. Doesn't look white on the lips. Um, it looks really, really pretty and really, really glossy. And I am really excited to try this one out as well. And then I also did get this shade. This one is called Brillo lip gloss. So the last beauty product I got was at Ulta and it's the Babyless Pro Curling Iron. Uh, it's perfect for beachy waves. I love it. Um, I've heard nothing but great things about this curling iron. So I'm excited to be looking like I just came out of the beach all day, every day. Um, but yeah, it basically just gives you big, fluffy, curly waves. Moving on to the etc. portion of this accessory haul. I got a little mug from Urban Outfitters. It's super cute because I am a Taurus and I love mugs. I don't drink coffee, but I do use them as decoration for my bedroom, so I'm gonna probably put like pencils or candy in this one or even seashells. Um, so can't wait to use this little guy. I did get this Billie Eilish cassette tape. I do not have a cassette tape player, but I'm going to get one in the future. I thought her album would be the perfect starter to my collection because I'm obsessed with Billie Eilish. So the last thing I got was this Woodwick candle from Yankee Candle. It smells amazing and they had a special on like the giant candles. And the wick is like, super long. It's gonna look so pretty when it's lit. All right guys, thank you so much for watching this super long haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Bye, guys.